Hi gang, Scott here. Rounding out this week's little series on Luminar tips is adjustment layers. And I have two big reasons you should be using adjustment layers in your Luminar workflow. I'll show you those in just a minute. Quick reminder, I've got a new video course out. It's called Luminar Start to Finish. Eight end-to-end -end editing tutorials. The practice images are included so you can follow along. A couple of mini courses about masking as well as about layering. And one of the things I talk about in depth is adjustment layers. So let me show you reason number one that I like adjustment layers. You can mix looks. So I've got a photo here that I've applied this look to. And as I hover over other looks, I kind of like how some of them are treating the photo as well. Like I kind of like Big City. That looks pretty cool too. But if I were to click on this, it's going to replace my look and I've just removed the previous look that I had. So if I click back on Subway, if I want to mix in the look I have from Subway with another look, I need to add an adjustment layer. So in the layers area, I'll add an adjustment layer. And now I can add a second look and I can mix it in. So I'm, I'm mixing this in with the previous settings that were applied from Subway. So that's one reason that adjustment layers are really useful. You can mix different looks and use those sliders to control how strong or how soft a particular look is. And let me show you the second reason that adjustment layers are so powerful. The second reason adjustment layers are so useful is you can group a set of editing tools and apply them selectively in your photo. So here you can see I've got things in light, things in structure, things in detail enhancer applied, but these are all on an adjustment layer. If I look at that adjustment layer, there's a mask associated with it. Watch when I turn it off and turn it back on. It's only those rocks on the horizon line that are being affected. And that is courtesy of using an adjustment layer to group together a set of editing adjustments and then coupling that with a mask so only the subject I want to have affected gets affected. So I can take a group of editing tools and mask once and have them all join together. So those are two reasons that adjustment layers should be part of your Luminar workflow if they're not already. And you can learn a lot more about adjustment layers, get hands-on practice with both the images you saw if you check out Luminar Start to Finish, new video course I've got, link below. Got other questions, drop those below as well. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.